Hi, I'm Katie Couric. Welcome to Eye to Eye. According to the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, more than half a million Americans undergo knee surgery every year. 70% of them are women. Contributing correspondent Dr. Sanjay Gupta of CNN spoke to one woman and her doctor using a new type of knee implant designed to fit the female anatomy. So I understand that going downstairs can be the hardest thing. Oh yeah, it is. It's well, the worst. So does that bother your knee just to do that right now? It bothers both knees, but it bothers this one more. So does it sort of feel like that bone on bone? What does oh, it yeah. feel like? Yes, definitely. So, so when was around in your mid 30s you started to notice that you had you had pain? Mm -hmm. But what happened specifically? Um, at that time, I was not able to sleep at night. Well, I was working, you know, eight and twelve hour shifts as a nurse. And at night, my, my knees and my legs pained me so much, I couldn't sleep. And um, now, you know, I have a much more sedentary life. So I don't have that problem so much. It's just I'm not that functional. I hope to be able to come to New York for the day and go to a show and not bring a cane and not have to strategically plan everything around being, you know, sort of handicapped. Um, I'd like to be able to walk my dogs, go for walks in the neighborhood, uh, and not worry about falling like I've had to, or go for a walk and not look at my feet the whole time, but look around. And simple things. I don't expect a lot, you know, I don't have to play tennis. See, women's knees are narrower in the front, so your knee, even if you had the same size bones, same height, same size bone, would be wider up in the front than your knee, which is now up in this front portion. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the features that the journey knee that you're going to have has incorporated into its design. So how did it go today? Uh, it went great. Uh, the implant felt great. It had a great fit. The ligaments felt really balanced and her knee moved really well. I mean, you can see at the end of the case when you know it bends up to over 155 degrees, the ligaments feel all quite stable. You know you're in good shape. Now, when someone has their knee replaced, I mean, does it feel as good as new eventually once they get through the uh, pain of the operation? Well, I always tell people I, I don't think we can make it as good as the, the mom and dad made it, so we're not going to make them 20. But on the other hand, I think with the newer implants like the Journey, we can get the knee to function and move like a normal knee. And if we can reproduce all those normal motions, we can get them back to doing all the activities they generally want to do. Most people aren't surprised when you tell them that men and women are different. But they may be a little surprised when they hear that the knees are different, but, but it is. Yes, it is. I think it's important when you're, you're designing knee replacements and when the manufacturers make them, to make them fit the anatomy that's there. And we know that women and men are different, lefts and rights are different, and so it's important to use all those anatomic features and incorporate them into the design of the knee. What will Catherine be able to do now? What will her life be like? Uh, I don't think she'll have a whole lot of, in the way of restrictions. Uh, the things that she, I think, will want to do and able to do, obviously gardening. We know that's an important thing. So her knee, I think, will be able to flex enough to her to get down on her knees and garden. Uh, she can do pretty much whatever she wants to do, short of running. 